Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this python commonly asked coding interview question series today let's discuss about how to move all zeros to end of an array okay this is very very popular and interesting question that has been asked in interviews time and time again okay if you walk into any top mncs or any product based companies right so you can expect these kind of questions in uh, you know even in your first level of technical coding interview coding interview rounds because the complexity level is very easy and uh, now this will help the interviewer in understanding how good you are with you uh, know problem solving and how good you are with basic concepts of you know python programming all right so yeah now let's jump into the actual uh, problem and let's understand the actual question all right so given an array or list okay so i have i have written down an array or list here okay so what you want to do is provided a list or array is given to you all you want to do is you want to move all the zeros to the end right so here we have 5024030056 right all we want all what we want to do is our output should be something like this <clears throat> move all the zeros to the very end like how many zeros do we have 1 2 3 4 right all we want to do is move all these zeros to the very end so this should be our output okay so that's the actual problem so we want to move all the zeros to an end of an array all right so uh, we have quite a lot of approach in how we can solve this problem okay but i'm going to teach about one of the very efficient and one of the most easiest uh approach to solve this problem okay so what i'm going to use is i'm going to use this part partitioning logic of quick sort okay so if you you know switch back to your sorting problems and all right so we have a quick sort problem where we can actually use a temporary variable and try to sort the elements right we can use the temporary variable to swap the elements right similarly we can sol also solve this problem in one scan of an array by modifying quick sorts partitioning logic all right the idea is to actually use zero as a pivot element and make one pass of the partition process the partitioning logic reads all the elements and swap every non pivot element with the first occurrence of the pivot okay so what so we can have zero as a pivot element here and what we can do is we can uh, swap the every non pivot element which means if we take zero as a pivot element all non zeros element will be non pivot so we will uh, uh, iterate through a loop and whenever we find a non zero element we will <coughs> move th move those non pivot elements to the left okay so this approach you know is very very simple and you can also uh, you know the space complexity and the time com and the auxiliary space and time complexity is very very efficient the time complexity is o of n and auxiliary space is o of 1 so implementation wise it's very easy and efficiency wise also it's very very efficient all right so now let's start coding <clears throat> um yeah we have an array here right so let me ha have my main class i will have something like oops name equal to, equal to i'm going to have my main method here and oops right and i'm going to pass the method here right so let me start with my implementation so let me call def say um zeros to zeros to end <clears throat> okay let me call this and i'm going to pass the array right so i'm going to pass the value here a <clears throat> and then i'm going to have my pivot element here let me have my pivot element as j equal to 0 okay so each time we encounter a non zero this j is incremented and the element is placed before the pivot all right so i'm going to implement a for loop for i in 
um, range. So what's the range? The range will be my length of an array, right? So it will be length of a. <coughs> right? Once the uh, I need, I will use this for loop to start iterating through each and every element in my array. And then what I can do is I can simply use the uh, quick sort sorting logic. So first we have the pivot as zero, right? So if so, we need to add this if condition if a of i, and then we uh, we need to start implementing the sorting logic like using a temporary variable. So let's have temp equal to a of i, and then a of i. equal to a of j and finally a of j equal to temp all right now and then finally we need to start incrementing the the pivot value which is the j right j equal to j plus 1 and yeah, I think that's pretty much done. And we have to call our implementation method zeros to end here. <coughs> that's a, and I need to print the a as well, right? So I'm going to print my a. Right. Um, so let me run this. Yeah, you can see all uh, my non zero elements came to the beginning of an array and all my zeros went to the end of an array okay so if you want to test it you can uh, maybe try adding more values as well like if just to verify if it is behaving correctly or not you can start doing something like this <coughs> now you can see yeah all my all non-zero elements move to the beginning of my array and all the zeros actually move to the end of an array okay so this is how you need to implement this logic of moving all zeros to an end of an array right so uh, i think implementation wise it is done as i said already like the complexity is very very uh, um, uh, easy and the space complexity and time complexity used here is very um, very very efficient right and in if you want you know i think I, i've almost done with the solution but in case if you want to tidy up this program and if you want to make this more presentable right you can actually use a swap method <coughs> excuse me you can use a swap method to um implement the uh, you know uh, to make this program more readable okay you can do something like this say maybe i will use a def swap say our array is here, right? A comma i n j, and all we need to do is pass this temp logic. Once this is done, all you need to do is just pass on this swap method here. Swap a comma i comma j. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, that's pretty much done. Let me run this. Yeah, you can now see all the non-zero element move to the first, and the zeros to the end of an array. Okay, so in case if you want to make the programmer programming more readable, you can you can implement something like this as well. Okay, I think yeah, I I hope you guys understood how to solve this problem. In case if you have any queries, please post it into the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting interview questions like this. Thank you.